Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the British Royal Navy, we have a slight confession to make. Spyro! Yeah, 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 I know, I know, okay. <laughs> um... You may have noticed a couple of things that don't quite add up as far as the continuity of the last few episodes. In particular, those banners, um, I don't know if you would have been able to see them, were changed to the other ones, and um, we suddenly had a lot more gems than this. And uh, the reason for that is that those episodes actually take place in the future relative to where we are now, so hello from the past. Um, I realized something, and I hope you realize this, that I have not yet died in this entire Let's Play. <laughs> and I realize, you know, here's the thing. I have never actually beaten the game and not lost a life, to my knowledge. So... This is my chance to do that, and I don't want to mess it up. That being said, oh boy, this is going to be a little bit intense. So here's the plan. We're going to beat Ripto now, in the past, so that I can officially say that I've beaten the game without dying. Should we be close to death in the Ripto fight... I have tested this off-camera, you can actually leave in the middle of the fight, and then get more health back and start it over. So... It's so lame. It is lame, but it's better than, in my opinion, either, number one, you know, doing something else where, like... Like, if we were to die in one of the levels leading up to Ripto, that would suck. Especially if we then later didn't die at Ripto, because then I could have done this, if, if that makes sense. Also, it's better than saves coming. Anyway, um, I'm just not realizing, what is that? Like, I think it says NDA, or ENDA, or something like that, on the doors. You see that? Not like, not like the letters on the doors, like the actual door texture. Yeah. I have never noticed that. I'm going to have to look that up. That's probably a reference to someone... Maybe it means we're not allowed to talk about this game legally. All right, Spyro. You got yeah. Alright, now we have to be really careful not to get all of these gems, or else the little Winter Tundra complete thing will show up in each of the previous episodes. Oh, God. Shoot. It is going to show up. Okay. Oh, well. Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you want to test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still. Oh, I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Okay, I so this is the Ripto fight. I love this fight, honestly. I love the mechanics in it. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power-up energy. Hunter will throw the powered-up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the Professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Let's do this. So the first thing he has is this attack, then you see these orbs are around, and we can pick them up to gain power, but Ripto is going to try to pick them up too. Fortunately we've got three blue ones, which gives us supercharge, and there we go. We did some hits to it. Now you don't actually have to get three of the same color. Uh, it'll just default to the color of whatever the last one is. So like, for instance, if I pick up a blue one, I get supercharge again. It's 
So, like, now he has three red ones, which means he's gonna do this, which is a lot like one of his attacks, or one of the attacks, from the Crush fight. So it kinda calls back to previous things in a cool way like that. I wish I could get something other than blue orbs, because the other attacks are cooler and easier to work with. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Clutch. Good. Ow. Yeah, you see, I got him like a- oh, shoot! He still had that power! I didn't notice! And he's gonna get a blue orb? Oh my god, Hunter literally threw it to him. Oh dear. I should have let him get it. The red attack's not that hard to dodge. Well, that did a whole lot of good. I didn't even get a hit on him. Fortunately, I am back up to full health. Should've let him get it, honestly. Because now he gets this one, which you'll see what this attack is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You might recognize that as a version of an attack from the gulp fight. All right. Phase two! <laughs> because of course this couldn't just be a simple one phase battle. Now he makes a robotic version of Gulp appear. And of course he still shoots. Is it Swank and Hunter fly? He's flown in a couple of levels. I we get to see the green power. So he's a lot tankier in this phase, obviously. Oh. Yeah, that one's not that bad, actually. Alright, health is now a priority. Health is now slightly less of a priority. Uh oh. That's not nice. I can't do it. That close to taking another hit, I am not going to take that risk. Ah, but we got pretty far for the first go. That was good. 
But yeah, you, you agree with me. There's no way I'm getting out of that situation without taking the last hit. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I played a little bit aggressively there towards the end. And... It didn't pay off. And dang it, Michael from math class, this is not the time to be texting me. <laughs> I don't know if I should be more concerned with his privacy, but, I mean, come on. How many, uh, how many people named Michael are there taking a math class? Yeah, we totally got the last gem. Time to watch the cutscene again! By which I mean... Oh! No, it doesn't play. By the way, there's something missing about this fight, but only if you're American. Or Japanese, I guess. I don't know whether they, it's in the Japanese version. Well, I don't, I'm not sure what it's missing. I don't know what to look for. Um, for the record, what I'm referring to... Oh, I let him get that one. I thought it was... <laughs> I forgot it was three, I thought it was two. Crypto does not have enough time, and it's bombs away here. Yeah, he's gonna get that. Alright, time to dodge some balls. Get him in the balls! Flame his balls! <laughs> Dinosaur balls! Ignited! No. No. I don't know whether charging and flaming actually does damage to him by itself. I don't think it does. I think you have to use the, um, the orbs. First time I've taken damage in this entire round, I think. He practically leaped over the, the orb and he got it instead. You know, actually, one of the things I do like is this is the first time I've seen um, a boss fight like this where both the player and uh, the villain interact. Yeah, that is kind of cool. We're both trying to get the orbs. But no, anyway, the thing that you might notice as being missing here is that in the... Um, Alright, blue is fine. Blue is actually probably his easiest attack to handle in this form. Oh, that was dumb! Wow! His easiest attack to handle. You think Hunter would be a little bit smarter with where he... Alright, we gotta teams? run. What is that? No good, that's what it is. Uh... Hey, we got an extra life! Yay! That we will not be needing. Did you see me get health at the same time I did, as I took damage great. there, basically? Okay. 
Can Hunter start being a little bit smarter with where he puts the orbs? Oh man. Looks to be a little bit of a priority now. Yeah. Health is very much a priority. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Okay, shit. Now it's time for phase three. Golden orbs! And the problem with this is I don't think we get health during this part. Which is a huge problem because it means I have to do this hitless or else we're doing attempt number three. You can do it. Oh wait, no, you got full health. Oh, I do get full health. Or, I did. So yeah. Aerial battle! This is cool. Ever done jousting? Can't say I have. I feel like that's basically what we're doing right now. Oh, that shot Ooh. went right by me. I think he's changed his his flight pattern again. All right, come on, baby, come on. Not very well. What? Uh, um, it's taking a while. Yeah, don't say a word. Like, if, honestly, if you could be quiet right now, that would be very helpful. I know this is a two-person Let's Play, but... <laughs> Your time to shine! Nice job. <sighs> he just goes in lava. That's Second it. try! That's. Alright, we'll, cutscene we'll time! <laughs> and that's why the banners are gonna be different. We can ever thank you enough, Spyro. I suppose you have to go Shipping. now. Yeah, I'd better. They'll be missing me in the Dragon Oh my God! I've still got a vacation to take. I need it more than ever now. Before you go, I think that Moneybags has something he wants to give you. I most certainly do not. Hunter. Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow! And that's why we have more gems. 
<laughs> Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Spyro. <coughs> We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. <coughs> oh, shoot. I think the Dragon Shores portal will be open as well. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, that's Spyro 2! I mean, there's still more to be done. Um, in the kind of. future past... No. In us, as we appear in previous episodes, we still have to go and do those other levels that you have seen before watching this episode. And in So the... you have seen us do something before we have. Yeah. No, not really, but sort of. And um, right. after that, we also have to go and go back through the other levels and do the last few challenges that we've left undone because we couldn't have done them because freaking Moneybags wasn't willing to teach us. Yeah, Moneybags is totally not a good guy. Anyway, <laughs> um... Bags. Douchey bags. Anyway, so yeah. I'm not sure what to say at this point in time. Oh! I never mentioned what it was that's missing from the uh, the European version, which is the version we're currently playing on, in the final fight. Did I mention that? Oh, no you didn't. Yeah, um... I'll show you after the credits and everything. I'll show you after the credits. Uh, we've got enough time left in the episode. So no matter what happens in those other levels, I can officially say that I have beaten this entire game without dying. Here's the thing. Can you say that you've 100%ed the game without dying? That I am still going for. I don't know. Um, the um, you know the next few levels, Cloud Temples, um, Metropolis Robotica Farms, they've all got some decently hard sections. Metropolis isn't that bad. Uh, Robotica Farms, eh. Cloud Temples is the one I'm worried about. It'll be hilarious if, like, I die in Cloud Temples, and then people are watching this video, and it's like, oh, he called it. That being said, I am really sorry that I just said that. <laughs> I probably should not have just said that. Milton James, that was, uh, Douchey Bags, I believe. Good money, buds. Melissa Disney, Tom Kenny, Greg Berger. Um, I think all three of them are coming back for the remakes. I'm not certain about Melissa Disney especially, but um, Greg Berger seems to think that he is, so I hope he's correct. Um, yeah, we can now go to Dragon Shores. Um, spoiler alert, we are not going to Dragon Shores. See, this is interesting because I thought um, I thought you couldn't come here unless you had enough uh, gems and such. Or orbs, I think it is. But I guess since we had enough orbs, it just puts us directly here? I was going to say, I think you have enough gems. No, wait. I think the guy at the door there doesn't let us in until we have enough orbs and gems. Yeah. Right. So that's the other unfortunate thing is in the other episodes you'll be able to see this portal open. Oh man. We'll uh, do what one more episode like after after everything to, as a closure. Uh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, I, I assume one hundred percent of the game will stick to another episode. Are we not just gonna finish it right now? We still have like three more levels to do. Exactly. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff we have left to do. We haven't done turtle soup yet. 
Those of you who have played this game will know exactly what I'm talking about. We have not done turtle soup yet. So yeah, that's... <laughs> that's a fun one. Um, but in any case, um, really quickly, I'm going to play for you the original, um, or not the original, the, the American version of the Ripto's Arena music, and you will immediately hear what is different about it, okay? Let's see it. So here's the original. Yeah! this random opera singer in there it's hilarious <laughs> it was oh man i i love the opera singer though that's the thing but um yeah we're a few minutes early we're gonna cut this episode here so we're going to cut this episode here go back and do the previous like three episodes then publish this one after those and then go back through the other levels. There is some logic to it. Yeah. I hope. This isn't primer, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Um, again, uh, thank you all for watching this. I am so happy to have defeated Ripto. Um, remember to leave a like if you liked it, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment about something, you know, speak your mind, this is a free country. Unless you're in, like, you know, Afghanistan, in which case I am so sorry for you. I, does Afghanistan have free speech? I don't even know. I'm not sure. I like how we just went off on a political tangent, literally while wrapping up the video. Anyway, like if you liked it, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more, hit the bell if you want to know when we're releasing more, you get the idea. See you all next time!